In this video, I'll show you how to create this footstep effect. Firstly, you'll learn how to attach the footsteps on the ground and track them. Secondly, how to combine the footsteps PNG with the main video and add it in the correct frame. And finally, create the neon effect with different colors. Without further ado, let's move on to the point of the video. Right click on your clip and create a new fusion clip. Go to the fusion tab. This interface has everything we need to create our effect. Press shift and space simultaneously to open this effects panel. Type Planet Tracker and connect its node to Media In and Media Out. In the Spectre panel, select the Perspective option in the Motion Type and create a selection where you want to insert the footsteps. Now, select the Reference Time to start tracking. This option tracks forward and this other sort of play button tracks backward. Choose the best for your case, but I recommend tracking both sides. With that done, open the Media Pool panel and drag the correct footstep PNG to your Nodes panel. In my case, this is the right show. Select your Planet Tracker again, change the Operation Mode to Corner Pin and adjust your selection proportionally. Go back to Media 2 and connect the node to Planet Tracker. Look, we have the footstep in the video already. Okay. We might sort of modify the footsteps to match the shoes of your model in the video. To do that, press Shift and Space. Type Transform might be the XF though. In the Inspector panel, we have access to all the possible modifications of the Transform node. You can change the position of X or Y directions, increase or decrease the image size, or even change the angle or rotation here. If somehow you need different options to modify your image, you can use the other transformer node. It has some good editing possibilities too. Once you did it, select the exact frame where you want the footstep to appear. Create a keyframe on the size option. Move the video backward and minimize the size value. It creates a new keyframe automatically. This will make this sort of appearing from nothing effect. Another thing that you can do to improve the quality of this insertion is to add a color corrector. So, type color corrector and add this node between Media 2 and Transformer nodes. Choose a frame in your video where you would like to see the footsteps with all the effects. And then proceed to the Gain option to create a keyframe. Because I want it to turn white or gain a different color right here. Move the video backward and minimize the gain. As you can see, we have now a more merged image without using some hard too, such as Magic Mask for example. Press Shift and Space again to add the last node, the Glow node though. Here we have a way to increase the glow size, how the glow will be, blender to the image and etc. Finally, with all of that created, we can play with the colors. In the Color Corrector node, you can choose whatever color you want by adjusting this wheel change in saturation, contrast, and even gamma. All these options, properly added, will give you a more captivating effect. Creating the next food steps is the same process. Create a selection with another planet tracker, add the left food steps now to match with the left shoe, transform, adjust, color corrections, all the things that I already shown to you. You can add as many nodes as you want, always connecting separately in the beginning and connecting later to media out as I'm showing it to you right now. So after learning this amazing effect, you probably realize how much you can do with DaVinci Resolve. For example, this incredible text review effect, which you can learn in 4 minutes in the next video.